And a quick throw. Touchdown, Aggies! Everybody, Coach Big in here, and today I wanted to tell you about a passing concept that I've been running on my NCAA 2014 Twitch streams. When you come into my streams, you'll often hear me talking about the gift. Either I'm saying, Do we have the gift, or are we taking the gift, or my emote is just take the gift. So, what is the gift? Well, in essence, it's a pass route that is usually on the backside of a passing play that isn't part of the play's actual passing read. But it's an easy way to take what the defense is giving you, hence the phrase, the gift. So here on the screen, you see that I've got Oklahoma offense versus Oregon defense in a 3-3-5. We're running shotgun spread Y-stick. Howard, on the right, is running the alert route, meaning we are only going to throw it if we get a zero high safety look, or the single safety is far enough away to make the pass viable. The actual stick route is being run by Stogner, with Brooks on the swing. In stick, the first read is the defender over Stogner. If he steps up, We'll hit the stick route. If not, we work the swing. The second read in this play is actually Hazelwood on the left. If that isn't open, then we're supposed to run. On the back side, you actually see that Rambo has what I call essentially a whip route. Now this is the gift, since it's not a part of the alert or the stick read. If the defender's playing off as shown here at 7 to 8 yards, we'll catch and just throw the gift. I'm not reading the rest of the play. If instead the defender's up on the gift, then I go through the reads to the play side. So in essence, this is two pass plays in one. It allows you to get your QB confidence, but it also increases completion percentage and gets you free yards. So here in just a second, you'll see me run this play on the practice field, where we're gonna catch, so right here, catch, and just throw it out there. Free four to five yards. Same play, you can see that the corner is off again, so we're just gonna catch it, and we're gonna throw it, we're not reading the stick. Now the stick was open on that play, we could have thrown it, but because I've been teaching, if you've got the gift, you take the gift, we gotta live with that, right? So I've got the gift again, we're gonna throw it, we're gonna take it and get the seven yards. Now we don't have the gift on this play, so I work my stick, the read tells me to throw to the back, I probably could have thrown the slant, but again, I gotta live with what I teach. Different play, here we go, spread halfback weak, H stick, Rambo has the alert, Hazelwood has the stick, Brooks, has the quick arrow, Stogner on the slant, that's the read, and Howard is the quick out as the gift, okay? So as you can see, we're gonna catch, turn, throw the gift, seven yards gained right there. And again, same play, touch, throw, now we overthrow it, and it happens. It can happen if your quarterback's feet aren't set, but if you notice, boom, get another catch, 10 yards. Same play, just catching, throwing the gift, and we're getting 78 yards. Here we don't have the gift, so we're going to work the stick combination. The defender blitzes, so we'll throw into the blitz to the stick. Hazelwood catches, 7 yards. Defender's off again, but he steps up, so the corner steps up. We don't like the stick, we're going to throw the slant. Again, guys, it's a great way to attack a defense. It's a great way to attack them by keeping them off balance. Two pass plays, essentially in one, getting you good yardage that allows you to get first downs. New play here, we're out of shotgun normal. We have Howard on a 10 yard out on the backside of a wide shallow cross. Stogner's running the shallow route, Hazelwood's running the 10 yard dig, and Rambo has the post with Brooks on the check down. Reed is a defender over Hazelwood. If he vacates or blitzes, we're gonna go ahead and throw that. If it's a zone look, we'll throw the Hazelwood. Uh, check down is Brooks or run. Rambo is the alert. And again, Howard is the 10 yard out. We don't have the gift. So we're going to throw the shallow route. We only get two to three yards, but that's not too shabby. Here we are again with it. Ten yard out. They're off. Do we have the gift? Yes, we do. We're going to catch, throw the ball quickly. And the, as NCAA happens, they miss touchdown. Same play. Don't have the gift. We're going to throw the shallow route. Yeah, we may not get a ton of yards, but a good four to five yard gain, especially if you're running it on first down. It's a great way to get free yards. Boom. Boom. As you can see there, we're still getting it. Now, here we go. I don't like the gift there, and you'll see why in just a second, okay? I go to the instant replay, and I'm going to top walk you through it. As we run the route, notice the safety comes down. 
I get a little nervous that that safety is going to try to undercut my route. Normally when I run this play, I want the quick out uh, to be the shortest throw for me. So I generally run this, these plays when I'm on the hash and have that out uh, going uh, to the short side. So it's an easier throw. As you can see, we run it again. Notice that man, the backer kind of started to drop underneath. That is the one danger when you run this play you've got to be aware of if you're going to throw the gift that the backer can drop underneath. However, if it can be a shorter throw for your quarterback, less chance for the backer to undercut. So again, taking a look, we're going to throw this right out, catch, throw it out, boom, cat, 20-yard gain. It's that simple. This is the gift concept. This is something, like I said, I run every stream seven to eight times. And this is why I'm sharing it because I really want to help people out in terms of learning how to pass the ball and take advantage of what the defense is giving you. So here you can kind of see the safety come down. It's a very risky throw, but we still complete it. It's why I run this play when I'm on the hash and I want to throw the gift. Shorter throw for the quarterback, a lot harder for that safety to potentially make and undercut that. So here we have a new play. We're out of trips formation, halfback week. We're running levels. We have Howard on the 10-yard out. This is actually the gift. To the right with our three receivers is actually the read for the levels play. Hazelwood clears. We've got the underneath routes by Stogner and Rambo that are coming through. So you'll see here we have the defender off. Again, if I'm on the hash, this is what I'm running, and I'm throwing this to Howard. Boom, catch. And even if I go out of bounds, look at that. It's a great way to run this at the end of the half to also preserve the clock and take advantage of what the defense is giving you and keeping them off balance. So you can kind of see your catch. Again, 10, 9 to 10 yards. Don't have the gift. We'll just throw it into Stogner underneath. Here we go under center with ace slot. We have Howard on the gift on the right. Brooks has a check down. Stogner has the shallow with Hazelwood on the deeper post slant type route. The read is to the left, okay? The defender over Hazelwood. Rambo has the alert. We don't have the gift. We don't have the shallow, so we're going to hit Hazelwood. Here it looks like we have the gift. Now remember I've mentioned watch for a backer or the corner sitting to cut underneath. There you see a perfect example of it. Decide to leave it in just to give that example. Here we have the gift. No one's dropping underneath. We're going to hit it and score a touchdown. It's very important that if you're going to add the gift concept and you're looking to decide which plays to add, that the gift is on the back side of the play where you would normally be reading. So here, we're reading to the left, back side is to the right, okay? So it's just not, hey, let's go add double outs when we add a play because we've got outs to both sides because the read is actually the out route. It's not supposed to be a part of the read of the play, it's just supposed to be there in case as a backside gift if the defense is going to give it to you. All right. Here we go. New formation. I formation. Left hash. I formation normal. Excuse me. Mid attack. Rambo's route is the gift because it's on the backside. Mid attack means we're going to attack with the post. And the angle route by the fullback. Our read is one. Stogner. Two is the check down to the angle. Run. All right. Howard's curl route is a great way to force the defense to widen, allowing you a chance to attack the middle of the field better. It's not really a part of the read. It's just designed to force the defense to cover him, okay? But it's not the gift. The gift is on the back side of the play. Remember, back side, usually an outbreaking route on the back side of the play, okay? I just wanted to show you that you can run this not only out of shotgun, uh, 10 personnel, 11 personnel, but also out of 21 personnel, all right? If you have questions about whether or not something is the gift or this play has the gift built in, please don't hesitate to contact me. Comments down below are open for you to be able to leave a comment and say, hey, do you think this is the gift? I'll take a look and I'll let you know whether or not I think it's the gift. We're going to go ahead and end with some game footage so you can see me putting it in practice. I do include one bad clip. It's right here coming up. I don't read very well this corner squatting. He does intercept me. And that is something that you do need to be careful of if you're running this play. He's reading it correctly. In another clip here in just a second, you'll see that the corner does squat. And I decide to switch and throw the shallow, even though the corner is playing off. However, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. 
If you want to see more quality content like that, make sure to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. I do stream on Twitch Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Link is down below. If you have questions about this video, this passing concept, or anything else football related, don't hesitate to come in. I'm always looking to share more knowledge and to help people out. I do cover some things in stream when I run a play. I'll stop and break down why I do it the way I do. So please come in, say hello. Again, my name's Coach Began. It's been my pleasure to share this information with you. Let's go have fun in NCAA 2014, and let's keep winning national championships for our respective schools. Thank you very much.